We begin with a surprising development in the search for 15-year-old Sebastian Rogers, who's been missing for 18 days. An exclusive look at new video evidence. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Rory Johnson. And I'm Hunter Hoagland. A lot to get to here tonight. Authorities have scrutinized home security video from that Hendersonville neighborhood trying to learn what happened to that teen with autism. Now you can take a look for yourself. Our Nick Barris obtained video that appears to show two people near Sebastian's home the night his parents say he disappeared. The video you're about to see is from early Monday morning, February 26th, around 310 AM. Now, there are no street lights in the Stafford Court neighborhood, so it is at night pitch black. What you will see here are these two points of light believed to be people with flashlights in the area around Sebastian Rogers' Hendersonville home. It is believed Sebastian left his home barefoot and with a flashlight sometime overnight. Since his disappearance, authorities have reviewed security video from homes in the neighborhood looking for clues. We have had several clips that have come in. And this one is getting the most attention, showing signs of activity around Sebastian's home the night he disappeared. You see, two light sources, which we've circled to help you follow. For point of reference, the security camera was pointed toward the back of Sebastian's home in a common area. In the video, you see subject one with a light source in the lower right-hand corner. Then you see subject two briefly appear and move toward the first before that light source is covered or obscured by bushes. Subject one, a few seconds later, then moves out of frame. Then subject two reappears and follows subject one off screen. It's a short time later and it's very vague, but then you see one of the subjects moving quickly back through the common area and that is it. I know, there's not much to see here. You certainly cannot identify anyone, but those close to the investigation tell me the mere fact that there is now evidence that someone is in the area around Sebastian's home is significant. This video shows suspicious activity in the immediate area the night Sebastian disappeared. Could one of these subjects have been Sebastian? Did he meet and leave with someone? Sebastian's father says his son would not go with a stranger. It's up in the air for me because I don't think he would get into a vehicle with somebody unless he knew them. So what exactly are we seeing here? I know investigators are doing what they can to try enhancing the video for any more clues. For now, this video is now part of the Sebastian Rogers missing person file. And I'm told it could become more significant depending on where the ongoing investigation leads. We'll be following that. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. Of course, the search for Sebastian continues with detectives now looking into any possibility of foul play. If you think you can help, call 1-800-TBI-FIND.